Hey all, so we're back for a little bit more Path of Exile. Um, now, while in between episodes, I was debating whether I should just go straight up toward Root of Problem, which is, you know, go here to the riverways and find our way up into uh, the next little area over here, or maybe I should go and do Deal of the Bandits. And I've yet to really explain um, this quest, and it's, you know, been there a little bit for a little while. And it's actually one of my favorite quests in this in it's the game itself. Uh, so deal with the mechanics. The forest here is under a constant attack by free bandit factions led by Creighton, Olera, and Oak. If you find a way to prevent those attacks, Arama will reward you with a bonus passive skill point. So it's a this is a very interesting quest. You have free bandit leaders. Olera's over here, Oak is over here, and Creighton is over here. Um, if you kill all three of them, uh, this guy here, Arama will give you a free skill point for it. But you have options, and I'm just going to show you those options, I believe, in this episode. So that's what we'll do. At least we'll show you uh, this option here for Creighton and the one over here for Lyra. We'll go over here to Crossroads, and we'll go troll and, uh, not, no, troll, but we're going to go up to Creighton, and I'll show you off what he's all about. All right, so here's the waypoint. And what's nice about the crossroads is that you generally, I think, know which way you're gonna be going. So here's Creighton's Scouts, Creighton's Aspirant. Little bit of lag, cause you know, why not? There's gonna be lag. I'm forever in this lag. Onward, down the road. We're, up, we're on the way to find Creighton. Creighton, the rogue leader. Hopefully, my computer settles down a little bit, but whatever. We'll continue playing. You killed my zombie! I was actually hitting the wrong button there for a little bit, but whatever. So, these uh, qu uh, mounds of rock, this is where it really started, you know, I, I kind of like the idea of the Hulking Titan. They're, you know, so far being kind of, uh, um, let's spawn here, let's spawn there, but when you see like little rocks like that, you wonder if that's a Hulking Titan or not, so it's not always a Hulking ti Titan. Hulking Titan. It's like one of the odd effects I think they should have, you know, sort of encouraged more. Like sometimes stuff is hidden, kind of like what they did in Diablo 3, but it's not a major thing, so I'm not going to worry about it too much. And apparently, rumbling masks are just standing upright automatically. Might be a good idea because uh, I run over and kill them so much. So we got over here Creighton snipers. Now, there's a hut over here. You'll actually see these guys are Callow Fugs. So the Callow Fugs are back, and um, basically what I'm going to say here, much like the ink spirits that always pop up from the, you know, the ravens or the whatever they popped up from, these camps that you find scattered throughout the wilderness of the old forest, they always pop out with uh, Callow Fugs. I don't know if it's intentional or not, but it is always do. So you get Callow Fugs out of these. There's no real reason for using zombies here, so I'll more or less don't care about using them. You just cleave on me, you bastard! That little swipe there is cleave, and it's basically, uh, um, as you can expect, it cleaves through all the forces in front of you. Not sure if I used it or not, but there it is. In all its cleaving glory. Okay, I've seen those before. More of I've seen new rings are for the first time. I mean, sometimes I'll see new stuff. They're obviously always adding stuff to this game. And now it's in uh, release. I actually note, by the way, you can get this, uh, um, you can see this on Steam. I'm not linking mine up, but you can do that if you want to. Uh, you just download a Steam client and then you can like log in with it and then boom, you're on Steam. Waypoint. Very nice. So, deal with the bands. We're going to be, uh, going down the road a little bit more. I think I'm down at the end of this road you'll find the um, 
uh, um, encampment ability to find Creighton's uh, camp. So we're going off the Creighton's camp at the end of this road. Oops, whatever. And here it is, by the looks of it. So here's Creighton's camp. And you got like these uh, stalwarts, and you got high guard. These are like tough guys around this guy, Creighton. So let's talk to him. So blah blah blah. I don't like them. So here's the thing: if you kill Creighton, you cannot change your mind. If you help him, you will be permanently granted eight percent to resist all elements. You will have to fight any party members who do not side of you. So here's the thing: I have the option. If I want to um, get, like, say, 8% to resist all elements, I can't kill him. Hmm. Should I help him or should I kill him? So 8% resist all elements, that's a pretty good deal. Let's say we'll help you. No pain, no gain, I once heard someone say. Make sure it's open and Lear is pain now. All right, so you can say I change my mind anytime you like. And he'll let you change, his, change your mind if you want to. So here's the thing for Crit Band Lord Creighton. Creighton wants you to bring him the elements of his rival, so they're an oak. Alira can be found to the west of the forest again through the Gloomville, Gloom Woods. Oak can be found beyond Vale Ruins to the north of the river crossings. Crane will reward you a permanent 8% resist all elements. So here's what here's how um, this quest works. This is the same quest as the one that um, uh, Aramir gave me, to kill them all. So what's happening is that these guys are giving me a second option. I can only kill two of them, and instead of uh, you know getting the passive skill point for you know killing all three, I can get whatever each of these guys offer. So let's go uh, visit our good friend and... Uh, um, enemy, ally, friend me, whatever you want to call him, uh, Alira. And we're going to go uh, to Alira and just see what's up, and maybe she'll uh, she'll have an inter interesting deal that I might want to counteract with. Or not, we'll see. Oh, that is freeze. Or, I didn't freeze, did I? I got kicked out. I unexpected disconnection occurred. Oh, well, we're in the login screen. Uh, um, while I'm here, by the way, I'm actually going to show you something. I'm actually, this actually got changed a little bit, so let's just go look at it for now. Before, there used to be just this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy, there's not a seventh person. The sky on. I never actually read this before. But basically, um, just to go on a little bit about the sky on. The Skyon is the newest addition to the character family in Path of Exile, and she's basically, while like say the Witch here is all intelligence, the Mara uh, the Marauder is like all strength, the Ranger here is all dexterity, and then these other three are in, be in between. Like this guy's the dex, or not dex, but int and strength, dex and int, and then this guy's dex and strength. The Scion is dex, int, and strength. She's all three attributes at once. She has the ability to go in any direction that she um, that you want to. And it's a really interesting type of uh, challenge that you want to go with. Uh, I guess it only goes in domination. Hmm. Monsters work by powerful shrines. Tied to shrines claim their power. It's been domination and ends. Characters will become standard characters. So, you know, this is in our server. Mod for Nemesis of Pool. And Nemesis ends. Its characters will become hardcore characters. Blah, blah. Okay, so interesting stuff. Anyhow, there's a new character called the Skyon. And there she is. She's the uh, all free attribute type of character, and she's you know here to play. Now you know the game is finally out. Anyways, let's get back to uh, my current run of the middle character. The, the um, I keep calling them Marauders. The Templar. I already have a Marauder, but whatever. All right, so uh, it's probably a good thing that I found that waypoint for Creighton because I just got kicked out of the. Uh, game and well his, his cam is gone so where I want to kill him or not I would have not been able to so kind of sucks I assume I guess the kind of kick there that happened that was more or less to do with the fact that I don't know just uh, maybe there's problems with the, with the um, release not a lot of time people coming in and all that that could be it anyhow we're back here last time I was here um, if you remember we had the uh, fanatical 
martyrs that try and sabotage you know my efforts by exploiting themselves in my face. And we got these dead eyes running around. And at the end of the road, we uh, basically found the black guards. That might happen again, but what the plan is, we're actually going to stay away from the roads because the roads don't um, have Alira's camp. Alira's camp is in the middle of nowhere, and it always spawns kind of like those random cave inches that you don't want to be finding because they're out in the middle of nowhere and you can't easily find them. And cool, I got a level. And if you recall from last time too, I just got my staves stuff all the way, and now I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do with the levels. Kill you and kill you. All right, so time to decide. Um, secret um, of the order—that's a kind of cool thing. So let's get that. I don't know if um, what we'll be doing. We'll skip that till a little bit later. I like putting off putting off stuff like that. They don't really care about right now, right? I'm gonna play. Not have to think about how I'm gonna build my suit character. So that is a part of playing, I guess. Oh, champions. And a rare. Alright, we'll kill you. Kill them. Basically trying to kill these champions before I go to the main course. Everyone else. Enemies are slowed, that's not good. You need to die. And I'm faster. Die, please. It's definitely a lot laggier than before. I think it's because of the fact that there's more people playing and they are accustomed to the, the payload of players now. Because, you know, it's a still new game. It's not. It's no longer coming to release or at the end of it, open beta. It is released and people are coming to play this game finally because, you know, they're kind of like probably like me and they're holding off until the game is released before actually playing it. I mean, I was like that. I didn't start playing this until well into the open beta. I won't look at the alpha and it's like, uh, I'll wait a little bit before, you know, they have voice acting in their characters and stuff. Like, those letters and stuff, that's new, and there's a lot of stuff that was, you know, constantly added and updated. Stop running. Nothing in this direction. Alright, well, let's see if this is the exit of the map over here. No, this is not the exit of the map. This is where our lag sucks. I'm not able to kill these guys very effectively, the martyrs, so they're coming up to my face and hitting me. Luckily, I had some fire resistance, so that uh, it's not a good thing having guys explode in my face. Die. And this is where you start to get into like the re repetitive nature of this game. Um, as you can see, I'm just sort of like wandering around and trying to find like the quest objectives. And it's in the same place I've already been. So I'm basically revisiting the areas I've already been to. Completing what our quest is and need, need to be completed. In this case, I'm going to visit the Bad Lords. Camp this way. 
You know something, by the way. These are all men attacking me. There's not a lot of women um, bandits for some reason. Like, the, you know, the survivors. There's lots of female scavengers and dune crawlers or whatever else, but not so much bandits. There apparently is only one female bandit out of them all. And she's the leader of these guys. Uh. Ooh. Die, please. All right, I saw something that really interested me there. All right, by the way, camp, so it's a camp. And apparently no one's popping out. All right, iron staff. So I find, found this iron staff. This iron staff has something interesting. It's got slots. So remember when I had like, you know, that um, uh, staff with like, uh, or not staff, but the gem that lets me um, ad additional, uh, or changes the damage of fire to cold. I might be able to use that with uh, this staff, so I'll keep it for that reason. Someone has told me I need to articulate more. I really do need to articulate more. Especially when explaining things. I'm not very good at explaining things, as if you can't tell. Thinking is hard. Telling what you're thinking is even harder. Oh, there's the road again. Eventually I'll find a glimpse, much like with the Crate Encampment, where there's this big sprawling area appearing for no reason. I saw it. Any more guys to kill? Keep popping out all over the place, because why not? They probably have nothing better to do but to die horribly. Now, oh, what's this over here? Mountains? Probably telling me that the edge of the map is over in this direction. It is taking me forever to find Alira. Creighton was quick because he was at the end of the road, but you know, with Alira being anywhere on the freaking map. Yes, explode, you stupid thing. All dead. At least the lag has helped me there. Jagged foil. Bad time to be in this inventory screen. Okay. Um, so you know what? We're going to go back and we're going to deal with this right now. The, uh, stay, the stave I just picked up. The iron staff. Change my staves. Um, so we got this thing here, the cold to fire. 40% of cold damage is converted to fire damage. And I'll show you how it works in a moment. But um, before it was a rare item with new random properties. Normal item, the magic item. Normal, the random rarity. Let's just take one of the orbs of transmutation. So. One. All right, I have one. Okay, we'll put you in here. I guess I should probably sell some of this stuff first, but whatever. Um, up. So heavy iron stand sparks now. 12% chance to increase spark, 3 or 4% increased physical damage, and 5% increased lightning damage. That's what we've been upgraded to. Take this off. The freezing projectile, well, I guess we don't care about you enough anymore. We'll take you off. You can go right there, right smack in the middle of it. 
if I go in here and I pick out sweep, we'll put you right there. So now sweep is connected to this. So if uh, um, if sweep is uh, doing any fire damage, and it is with the uh, um, anger here, cast an earth that adds fire damage to the attacks of your melee eyes, and I'll do some frost damage with my attacks. Uh, apparently because um, one of these things is too high level for me. That's too high level for me. The molten shell is too high level for me. Or, no, it isn't. Keep you. One of those things is too high level for me to use, and that sucks, but well. Glacial Hammer, you can go in here. And boom. Now I've got... Glacial Hammer will do a little bit of fire damage. I don't think it actually says it in there, like, you know, that it has 50%, you know, it'll not have, like, conversion in there, but whatever, it will convert. And that's good for me. Nah, no good. So, now there's all this stuff over here. Um, and yeah, we'll just sell our stuff here. Hello. Hello. Sell that. Alteration shards. You're, if you see a pattern, by the way, in how my stuff works, Generally with the white items you get wisdom scrolls for them. With the blue items you get orbs of transmutation. And with identified stuff, you usually get alteration shards. I think that's how it works. So if uh you know the alteration shards look a little bit short, it's just because uh, I'm down here with the orbs of transmutation is building them up from just getting crap over and over again. Hello. Yes, hello again, because I forgot to sell you. There's some more orbs of transmutation shards. And we'll push on, or rather than push on, we'll continue uh, exploring. Staying put to explore. Jagged foil will pick you up, long staff, why not? And probably a good time just to build this up, so if I die here, I'm not too far away from wherever it is I died from. And we're back at the Black Guard camp, so there we are, that's the end of the map. If I go back there, of course, we'll run into the Black Guards, because that's where they are, they don't dis disappear, they respawn. Why do I have Ice Nova? Not that I'm complaining. It's not a bad spell and everything, but why do I have Ice Nova? Is that just being level because I left in here? I guess so. Ice Nova is not a bad spell actually for my character, but it's a little out of place that I forgot about. Uh. Kill you and get rid of you. Let's go this way. Maybe we'll find a lure down in this stupid direction. Oh, that's why. Put this here. Put sweep there. Actually, let's put ice nova here and I'll put rage zombie here. That's a better setup, I think. Because I have like sweep, you know, where it was before. And this is close enough that I can just hit W if I need to have an error. Little Lee get me out of the way type of thing. It's not that great, Ice Nova. Much like the other one, it doesn't do enough damage. But what's good about it is that I can slow targets, I think, because of the frost damage. And who knows, maybe it'll get strong enough eventually. That'll be useful. Probably a good idea to have Anger back on. I didn't actually mean to press Anger there, but whatever. Let's put uh, that there. I'll put the... I'm changing stuff up, as you can see. Glacial sweep. Where is... Anger can go there. Zombie can go here. That's how I want it for now. Now, one of the good things about Lyra, by the way, I find that even though she's hard to find, you don't have to revisit her. Because I find that her first time around going to her, her thing, like her, her addition really sucks. 
I don't think updated or anything, but I found last time I, I was looking at it, I was like, oh wow, this sucks. Like I'm not I'm never gonna pick this option. Cause the other option is just so much better. Hey! There it is, right down there. So you're gonna see your first um fight, I guess you would call it. Now where is it? Uh let's use my keys here. You can use the number lock keys, by the way, to find uh, find out where you, your waypoint might be. So there's my waypoint down there. I am straight south, pretty much. The only bad thing is that I, kind of, I find it find you're out of place with, you know, where did I have this last time? Was it like down there? Leave it right there for now. I know where I am. I'm not, I'm not Alira's camp, right? So here we are, Alira's blood hands. And the only female brigand, the bandit leader, Alira. Blah blah blah. So if you kill Alira, you cannot change your mind. If you help her. You will apparently be granted 40 plus to maximum mana. You will have to fight any party members who do not side with you. So, it's kind of interesting, you know, getting mana, but I find, even, unless you're like, say, um, really, really, really strapped for mana, which I don't think you'll ever will be, it's just not really worth it, in my opinion. I mean, Anger here, uh, reserves 60% of my mana. And I suppose there is reason for it, but it's, even then, I've, I'm still not hurting so much from mana. I'm still able to get by this too fast, so. Much like, uh, you know, I pretty much stayed. The fight is on. And here's the first fight with the Bant Leader. She's pretty strong, by the way, so... Don't... Don't mistake me for running around like an idiot as... Being an idiot. She's... More than capable of kicking my ass if I'm not careful. As you can see, she likes to explode zombies. Kind of like the uh, Nickermancer you fight in Act 5 of Diablo 2. Over there by her cauldron, you see a bunch of zombies. She summons those every so often. They'll fight me if I uh, give a chance, but we'll just kill her before she has a chance to do anything. Bye bye, and there's her amulet. So, that's basically how it works. If you, uh, if you're for helping them, then you get a quest saying, okay, this is what you get. You've already seen what Cranes looks like, and if you don't, you just fight them. So, that's uh, Olira out of the way. We will never have to come back here again. I'm done with the Western Forest for good. I mean, with Creighton, I didn't mind too much, and I knew I was going to kill Olira, so that's why I did this right now. You know, it's not so out of, out of place to do it right now. I really want a distance from the waypoint. There's the waypoint. I pretty much explored all this area too before I found her. All right, forest encampment. By the way, if um, I like decide, you know, maybe I want that skill point, I could go back to uh, Creighton and kill him. You're under no obligation to continue helping him, by the way, just if you didn't notice that when I was over there. You do need to kill those uh, bandits, by the way, to progress. You will have to eventually get to the decision. But if you want to hold off to so make your character stronger, if you feel it's a need to, you can certainly do it. I had a friend who was playing a witch. He was basically unable to kill the um, bandit Lear Oak until like well into like almost finishing the uh, Act 2 campaign. He's like well leveled past 20, I think it was. Um, Right now I'm 25, so I well maybe it's maybe 30. He but before he uh, was strong enough to kill. Uh, I think it was Oak that was giving him trouble, or maybe it's not Oak. It might have been Alira or the other one. Anyhow, uh, I'll cut the recording here for a bit, and we'll start pushing into uh, wherever you know Malaga Spike gets used. So take care for a moment. <laughs>